Alrighty, guys and gals. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Aquaphobic Mage Challenge. We're in World of Warcraft Classic Era. Hello. That's Susie. She has aquaphobia, and I'm pretty close to the water. Just going to stay as far away as we can. Uh, we, we, uh, <laughs> we are in Ratchet, and we're heading south down the coast here. We've got a couple of quests we're going to work on this episode. Got a drive-by buff from uh, Druid. Well, that actually might have been from last episode, because that's old. That's new. Looks like the thorns are new. Hope you guys and gals are doing well. It's a Saturday night for me. It's New Year's Eve Eve. That's right. We're going to be slaying some uh, South Sea Pirates this episode. There's one. We need brigands and cannoneers. I think the cannoneers are ranged. We'll see. They are. That means I can't get my... Uh... Oh, I can. Wow, I didn't know that had that, that range. Fire Blast has 20-yard range. I thought it was like a melee... Type of spell. Anyway, I just had a nice hot bath with a little, like a bath bomb thing. I got some new shampoo. It smells really good. I don't really know much about. It's like all well. I don't know if it's natural. It's it's got like tea leaves or something. I don't know. It smells good. Enjoyed it. Used it on my beard and everything. Everything? <laughs> That's right. I got some candles going throughout the house. I got the lights turned down. <laughs> for nobody. <laughs> That's for me. That's right. I don't know if we have the quest to kill the the captains. It might be a follow-up or something. I wonder if that's a double pull. If I can time it right, probably not there. Oh, we got away with it. Picking up some linen. Let's conjure up some bread. Twelve loaves of bread. And a partridge in a pear tree. I'm low on mana here. It's okay. Wand's pretty good. Having some ice cold water. Hello there. We got two cows and uh, zoo Zolaki. Sure. We're playing on the Pagel server. If you're curious. Allergies are a little... Well, I don't know if it's allergies. I always say it's allergies. I don't actually know if it's allergies or not. A little stuffy. Okay, I ran up awful close. Right up in my personal space. Hmm. 
Looks like the they're going for the, the captains, maybe. I think there's two guys you have to slay. Hey, buddy. These guys are popping up behind me here. A little bit of cheese. If you're into cheese, there's a little bit of it for you. been snacking all day on little things. I had uh, a salad after the gym. Probably get a banana, maybe some cottage cheese. I'm not really feeling like a proper dinner. But I'm a little bit hungry. Which means I'll just eat a little bit of food, maybe. It's nice that I have food in the house for a change. I usually don't. Don't get me wrong. It's not a lot, but it's more than I usually have. Like, I have options. Usually it's like, well, I guess I'm having a can of tuna fish <laughs> and a bite of cottage cheese. It's usually what it is. Hello there. So I had somebody send me a four-pound bag of candy. <laughs> I think I talked about this. It's one of the last plays. I held it up for the camera and everything. Don't know who it is. Uh, I gave it away. I did give it uh, to my landlord. She went to a party last night. Well, I'd given her, like, probably at least a pound of it <laughs> I gave to her. I took like 10 pieces out and I put it on the desk and there, some of them are still here. Um, just, you know, snack on. I just can't have that much chocolate in the house. So I gave that to her yesterday and then she let me know she was going to a party last night. I was like, hey, <laughs> how would you like three more pounds of <laughs> chocolate? She's like, sure, I'll just pass it out. It was like a big giant party, so I got rid of it. But whoever you are, Thank you so much. Whoever it is uh, is trying to fat me up because I've gotten blue Twinkies before and other <laughs> um, other goodies. That's right. I'm not going to mess with this pull here. We don't need this guy that's longshore. We need one more cannoneer. Um, do I need anything else over here? Oh, I, I have stolen silver. Forgot about that. I picked some of the quests up over uh, while I was in town. I was very aware of how close I was to the water, even off camera. <laughs> really trying to force myself to get into this character and just, just pay attention to the character more. Congratulations. Thank you. Voice in my head. I don't know if we can do... Oh, we have the intact raptor horns. This is going to be a tough quest. Let's go up this way. I think my landlord might stop by tonight just to hang out for a little bit. I'm not sure. Sometimes she says she's thinking about it and, you know, doesn't. But, you know, she has her daughter. She's going through a lot of stuff. And I like, I've never, like, 
had a friend like that would vent to me and like I could listen and you know so if she wants to absolutely just put on a little music and she can sit in my one chair and I'll sit in this chair and she can vent if she wants to a cutthroat we're getting rocked here We have different ones up here. Cutthroats and privateers. What am I doing up here? This is not what I thought. This is a dangerous place. I was trying to get back here. Okay, hold on. I don't know if I've ever been... I've gotten up this... This way. Let's see if I can get up the mountain here. Because these are the raptors we need, I think. No, it's not. These are screechers. Let's see how we do here. These are going to hit us really hard. And are not going to run off. Okay. If we don't get too many misses, this might be doable. Look at this. I don't know if I've ever been up here to kill these things. Like they have a little camp. Um. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna go up and uh, up and over here if I can. Look at that moon. Maybe some of. Well, try again. Maybe some of. Well, hold on. The feet have to have has to be f firmly planted. I can't have any weird stuff going on there. Perhaps something may have happened right there. Do 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 da da. There is a quest to gather feathers from these things, but we're not on that quest. I think you have to do something else first. It might be the next part. Oh, I didn't turn these two in. Yeah, we could have turned in a Cheyaki. I guess I did not turn it in. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, we didn't. Tell you what. We're going to hearth to the crossroads because I think the next part of this quest involves killing these things. I don't remember. Yeah, apologies for like, being a little bit stuffed up here. Look, Tar! You've beaten a Cheyaki, and though his days of hunting are over, his spirit is with you. He will show you the strength found in subtlety and the honor in mercy. Your path is still long, adventurer. Let's hope you stride it well. Now, adventurer, the hunt deepens. Now you must defeat your prey and then find your way to its lair. Hunt the Sunscale Raptors to the south. Slay them and remove the feathers they wear. Place the feathers on the scythe claw nest southwest of the stagnant oasis. Show their brethren you do not fear them. Ha ha! Thank you, adventurer. This will help us. Go okay. Everybody just calm what down. What are you looking for? Uh, look at the linen we have here. Let's make up some. Um, a lot of BOEs too. Let's make up some linen bolts of 
four BOEs right there. I'm just going to sell that. For the horde. For the horde. 38. Although, I think we are moving up to wool now. I might have to take a moment and just kind of go uh, clean, clear everything out here. That sounds like somebody's pinching my nostrils. Tell you what, while we are making cloth, I'll be right back. I got back before I even finished. Not even close to being finished. I should have just sold the linen. People that might buy these as well, though. Um, the bolts instead of the actual linen cloth. All right, we can make a few things. Do we have? Do we have that? Is there anything we need? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not gonna. Sp I'm not gonna waste leather plus this on white boots. So. Let's uh, try to go for the skill up, I guess. Unless there's something... Oh, well, here we go. We're definitely doing that. Put those on right away, because we have horrible boots. <laughs> and we'll spend the last three here. Uh, as a matter of fact, we can get to... Might even be able to get to 90 if I go get... Speak, friend. Melnon. Um, we'll buy some more. Go forth to victory. Interrupted myself. Some more fine thread we can get here from the general. What, this guy? Let me just buy this. Hello, man. How you doing? Just do. It takes two. Let's just do this. Well, I'm, I'll need more than that. Do, 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 do. We're pretty low. I gotta get some melon juice. Pretty low in melon juice here. Got some bear meat. Look at the BOEs we oh we're making these. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it didn't turn green. So we're gonna do five more. Um that should do it. Probably just sell these to him. I don't, probably won't be able to auction all of these. This will get us to 90. Might turn this yellow. We'll keep on top of tailoring. We're going to need it. If I get come across some wool, we can uh, upgrade our bags. Might be able to make some coin off of that. Tailoring could pay off for us. We go yellow. No, it's not. It means we can get five points again out of that. I'm just gonna sell this. I don't really feel like it'll sell. So uh, oh, we only have two more. So we'll just do four. There we are. Do the last four, two even. 
and see if we can get a uh, get a quest done. There you are. Enjoy that. Let's go buy some later. Later, bro. Uh, bro, let's uh, buy some melon juice here. A little too As crowded. As the wind on the plains, you are always welcome here. Why don't you relax with your sexy voice, sir? Huh? What the hell's the matter with you? What are you trying to do? Seduce somebody? We shall meet again. All right, we are going to go. God, look at all this crap on <laughs> on the map. It's a little bit much. Um, what, what do I want to work on? I need to pick something here. I guess we'll just slay the plane striders. Uh, as part of the the quest we're doing here, Chen's empty keg. Oh, we don't get credit for these, but we can kill the ones that do give us credit. Severed Talon. In fact, let's do that. The ornery ones will give us credit. There's a uh, prairie dog. We love prairie dogs. On well, the beta challenge. Too bad I failed it. Horribly. Horribly. I would have rather died on the character than died how I died. Yeah. Slaughtering animals. That's how we died on the people for the ethical treatment for animals <laughs> challenge. <laughs> So many animals did I kill. <laughs> no, killed like 12. Killed 12 animals. Went out in style. They should run off. Yeah. We also need Thunder Lizard Horn and Lion Tusks. Not a bad drop rate. We can get feathers from these things. It's the same things we were killing up top. You guys ever seen the movie The Road? I can't remember the author. It's something McCormick, I think. Uh, the book is even better, but I have to say they did a fantastic job with the movie. If you've never seen The Road... Uh, it has... Aragorn is in it. I can't remember the guy's name. He's been in a bunch of movies. He's in it. Uh, there's a child that's in it. It is brutal. It is a brutal book and a brutal movie, but it is so good. Also, um, what's her name? Might be Naomi Watts. In it. I can't remember her name. She's in it as well. It's a great, great movie. Gonna put this animal out of his misery. Only reason I thought of that is because we're on the gold road. Oh, it's a uh, Vigo Morganson, I think. 
something like that. Morganson or Mortison. I think he's Australian. It doesn't really matter that he's Australian, but. He'll forever be Aragorn in my mind, or Strider, whatever you want to call him. Heir to the throne of Gondor. A little bit close here, bud. Sounds like a band. Shouldn't have used the Hearthstone. In case it rains. Do 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 do. We should have two feathers. No, we just have one. That's a quest item. And that's a quest item. Okay. Watch out for these things. Look at this. Wow. Go ahead and fuck all the way off, dude. Sometimes a player will, they'll come from Mulgor, a low level Tauren, and they'll try to make this run. Uh, it's a, it's a risky run. Yes, it is. And these mobs will look like skulls to you if you come at the right time. Here's the Scythe Claw nests. Helping Christina comes over, I could uh, could actually use the company. Feeling pretty pretty low recently, lately, however you want to word it. Could hit level uh, 18. If I get this done plus the quest turn in. I think these have a potential to be level 18. I think, oh boy, that's not good. I think they can knock us down. There's a raptor horn. Boy, I am so into The Last of Us, the Fright Night. That game is phenomenal. It when I looked at it on Steam, uh, it the ratings were overwhelmingly positive, and I can see why. I was talking about this before. I have never played a game with where the writing has been so good, the voice acting has been so good, the graphics are good. The graphics they did on the characters are unbelievable. Facial expressions, interactions, it is just phenomenal. It is a great story, such an emotional story. I've cried 
three times <laughs> on camera uh, during the Let's Play. The very first episode, man, they get you like right off the bat. It's incredible. It really is. Like if that game is worth the money they charge for, it, it's worth it. Like I have no problem paying 60, 70 dollars. This is not good right here. We're getting wrecked. Wow. You see the difference between a raptor that's a level above you. Let's eat up here. I cannot linger. Did I get another feather? I did. Yeah, I I can't say enough good things about that game. If you happen to like watch the series and maybe you weren't that into the series, the game uh, is phenomenal. Because I had actually watched, before I played the game, I tried to watch the series. I didn't make it through the first episode. I, I don't know what it was or why. I just, I don't know. I think I got turned off too quickly because it was like in a, another like kind of zombie apocalypse type of thing. And I just wasn't feeling it. But it is so good. All right, I'm fucking scared of these things, man. If I don't get resisted, we'll be fine here. But I might have to use a health pot if we get resisted. Just one resist. Like that. That's all it takes to be close. Ooh, God. <laughs> These things are no joke. They, they also, I, you know, I'm not trying to talk about like another game while I'm playing this, but they really get you attached to characters and they have, the way that they develop the relationship between Ellie and Joel is so good. And the, ep well, I don't know what episode's out, but there was an episode, I don't want to spoil too much in case somebody's thinking about going back and watching it. Ellie went through hell. Like, that kid has been through fucking hell and back. So is Joel, really. But she really gets traumatized. And then the next episode, they play it... They play it out so that she gets a little comfort and peace. It was so good the way that they did it. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Like I was... This is the third time this thing's popped up in a row, I think. I was fine before I started recording. <laughs> as soon as I press record, my allergies go nuts here. Such a big difference in uh, levels. We need one more uh, feather. We might have to go do this again. I'm so sorry. Let me get to the road. I, I don't want to be sneezing and stuff and sniffling. Also, I sound... <laughs> It almost sounds like you ever call into work and you pinch your nostrils. Oh, I'm not feeling too good. <laughs> right? It sounds like I'm faking it. <laughs> All right. Are we safe here? I don't know. That, that There is a patrol. Okay. I'm just going to risk it here. I think we'll be okay. Uh, I'm do a quick cut scene. I'll be right back. Hey, apologies. It's still not very good. 
Yes, it's better. Do, 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 do. Work on a couple things. Yeah, let's see if we can level up here. Gotta kind of pay attention to the time. Man, they have a quick attack speed. You get interrupted like three to four times trying to get a cast off there. Level 16. Let's pick on this guy. I douched up a little bit. I I tried to touch up the the uh the beard with a little beard dye. I didn't used to ever do that. But of course I overdid it. I kept it in too long and I touched up too much. And it also looks much darker on camera than it actually is. But if you're wondering why I look douchey, <laughs> that's why. I don't really know why I care too much. I don't know. It's what it is. I'll tell you what it is. The light in my bathroom is not flattering. Has there ever been a light in any bathroom that's flattering? <laughs> I was in there the other day and I got out and I was like, Jesus. It's like white beard, the pirate man, like gray beard. I still have, it's still dark in places, but I was just like, you know what? Let me just touch it up. <laughs> Just fucking brushing the whole thing. <laughs> and then I went over the timer. You're supposed to leave it in for five minutes, and then you rinse it out. I left it in close nine, ten minutes, probably. Way too long. There's a fucking resist. Appreciate the uh, the horn that we need, or the the feather. We can get this done. Make sure I don't already have it. That can happen. You can get the feather. That's a light feather. It's not what we need. We have two health pots. And I wouldn't be surprised if we if we use them this episode. So this is a sixteen. So there's a big difference in this mob compared to an eighteen. Okay, no feather, but he does have the uh, the horn. That's a different mob, so we'll put an X on him. The other one's sculled. Interesting. Hold on, guys. Um, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, Pearl Jam too. Somebody was asking me about a movie. Like, what my favorite movie was from, you know, like the 80s, 90s. One of my favorite movies from the 90s uh, is a movie called Singles. If you've never seen Singles, I highly recommend it. 
the soundtrack alone uh, for that movie is incredible. You, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, Pearl Jam, you get to see them perform pretty amazing. And uh, the guys from uh, Pearl Jam are actually in it, some of them. I don't think Chris Cornell makes an appearance. I actually can't remember. He might. But I know Eddie Vedder, Stone Gossard, I think is in it. Um, Mike McCritty? I don't know if he's in it. <coughs> it's a great movie. And it's really funny. It's pretty hilarious. Matt Dillon's in it. Do not like how close. Okay. This mob is right here. Highly recommend checking it out. There's an actress in there. She doesn't act anymore. God, these things are just brutal. Yeah, it's called Singles. You won't regret it. That came out when grunge, you know, grunge rock was exploding shortly after. So all the big bands, I mean, especially those three. And out of that came like Temple of the Dog. Before that was like Mud Honey and all these other bands. The C Seattle scene. need to watch it again. I used to have that, as like I said, on VHS tape. <laughs> and I left it at this girl's house. I, I brought it to her house to, and we were watching it. And left it there and never got it back. <laughs> that movie was like an old cassette. That, like cassette tapes you used to listen to in your car. Would listen to the cassette tape so much that the, all of the, the writing would wear off. You couldn't even tell what side was what side. And the sticker on that was wearing off. Man. Okay, I'm just going to focus on the raptors. I want to get this, this raptor thing done. Because the raptors give us two quests here. Let's see if we can just finish this up. And we need to get out of here. I need to wrap it up. And also figure out if Christine is coming over. I mean, my place isn't like messy or anything, but I want to make sure I don't have like underwear or whatever laying around. Not that, not that she would care. Oh, I just got clear casting. I forgot about that. We picked that. I think that lets... Oh, we just got it. I think that makes our next... Gives you a 2% chance to enter and click house. I don't think I'm going to get a cost to get up by 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, hold on now. We need one horn, man. We've got... Uh, looks like a multi-boxer here, I, I think. Oh, so level 18. Rather not take this guy on. But I want to get this done. Let's just do it. Oh. Messes up a little bit right there. So brutal. Yes. Congratulations. Oh, that's so good. The chest here. A 16 and a 16. Okay, I think I'm going to risk this and go for the chest. Because we can pull just one of these. We'll go back and turn, uh, do the, the nest, and then we'll head back to the crossroads. Yeah, if you check out singles, let me know what you think. If you've never seen it before, let me know your thoughts on it. 
It's a movie that, you know, if you weren't around in the 90s, you probably don't know it. I don't know. It depends if you're a music fan or not. Yeah, so Matt Dillon in that movie, he he's like the band leader, and the mates in his band are from Pearl Jam. I didn't mean to auto-loot that. There could have been water in there, which is not a disaster, but we don't want to pick up water if we can help it. Yeah, Alice and Chain actually perform. I think they're performing uh, the song Wood. I don't think it's Rooster. Uh, off their first album, Facelift, in like a bar or something. I want to say Matt Cameron did that movie. He was, he had pretty popular stuff that guy did, right? I could be wrong about that. I haven't thought about that movie in so long, though. Of the monkey. One of my favorite Peter Gabriel songs, too. Shock the monkey. Such a cool song. Congratulations. Really cool video. All-time favorite movie. Well, there's so many movies I like, but if I like had to pick one movie, probably be the last of the Mohicans. Uh, from 90, early 90s, I think, with Daniel Day-Lewis and Madeline Stowe. It's based on a book by Jim, James Fenimore Cooper. I feel like I was just talking about this on the channel, but I don't know. The book is like that thick. I, I did not read the book. But the movie is so good. Great soundtrack, great actors. I mean, Daniel Day-Lewis is in it, so that guy just... He kills whatever he's in. Uh, the really uh, uh, amazing Wes Studi is in it. Just one of the most amazing Native American actors. His face, that dude can like act just with his face. He has like the most amazing face. Uh, the guy that plays Duncan, the character, he's such a good actor too. Madeline Stowe is incredible. Just so many good actors. Uh, Madeline Stowe and her younger sister, their father, phenomenal actor. Do yourself a favor if you've never seen The Last of the Mohicans. Watch The Last of the Mohicans. It's, it's incredible. Yeah, I think I was talking about this because I was talking about a song by the band Clannad called I Will Find You. But I also like a film, uh, it's called Jeremiah Johnson. It's got Robert Redford from 1970. It came out the year I was born. I saw it later. There are a couple of parts, scenes in that movie that are a little, they, they add comedy to it a little bit. And it's actually my least favorite part of the movie. But I love the idea in the story of that uh, and there's some really beautiful shots in it and it's a really young Robert Redford too so you've been to the nests and placed the feathers of your prey within them I have. that took a fair portion of courage no doubt about it do you feel a little tougher adventurer because you look tougher now then when you first came here I guess the Barons is doing its job what accent is that Let's see what we have to train up. Well, we'll pick a talent point. I'm going to do this. 
Um, to, we get this up to 10%, and I want to do that. I feel like this is going to help us out. Um, what do we? What can we train here? Whoops. Remove cur fireball four. Can't do any frost stuff. Really, all I want. Um, is Fireball 4 and c remove Curse. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump on the bird. And I'm going to fly to see the Mage Trainer. But we'll probably do that next episode. My Windriders are trained to fly quickly through the hot Baron's air. Your voice is designed to give me morning wood in the late evening. Go with honor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. You guys and gals, take care. Susie and I will catch you in tomorrow's episode. Goodbye. Peace.